Hey guys, welcome to Silver Lining Art. My name is Anish and today I'm going to show you how I painted this landscape painting. And this is actually the, fir actually the first painting I have ever made on an artist's watercolor block. I found, I saw this was on sale and I was like, finally my bro gas can afford this paper. So I bought it and while I share the painting process, I will also be reviewing my first impressions of this infamous paper. So without further, further ado, let's get to it. So I'm starting off with uh, the blue color on the sky. And I love painting skies. It's one of the easiest things to do uh, once you get used to it. But I remember like months of struggle when I first started painting and just didn't know how to paint skies. And I think the trick is to figure out whether you are, your painting is focused on the sky or is it focused on the landscape or the foreground or a certain object or certain elements of the foreground. For me, the most important thing was the hiker and the shadow that he casts. So I've put more effort into that in this painting. And the overall... Um, overall image that uh, the the V shape that is made by the two mountains, one grayish rocky mountain in the front foreground and then in the middle ground we have a nice lush green mountain. And the hiker in the photo is actually my friend Nick. Nick and I um, hiked around the Dix range in the Adirondacks High Peaks um, a few weeks ago. And this was on a mountain called South Dix. I think we are almost all the way up there. And we just took a moment to take in all the views. And we also had a really nice and well-deserved lunch break at this spot. Just a beautiful place to hike in. Um, I'm laying down my first wash, which basically just outlines the shapes and helps me understand where everything's going to go, what color palette um, work might work the best for darker tones for it and it was around this point in time when I made the decision of keeping the mountain in the foreground um, in grayscale while having the more colorful elements on the, the mountain towards the right and the mountains at a distance. I wanted the focus to be on the hiker on the foreground and then what the hiker is looking at in the background. Um, sort of that's the feeling I get when I look at this picture and when I think of my time um, hiking in the Adirondacks I often see okay that's my friend and then the view is gorgeous and I'm trying to capture that through the painting and it's very often to capture these kind of emotions in a photograph and that's why um, I really enjoy painting and uh, it helps me solidify my memories a little bit better and not just like what the view looked like, but how I felt when I looked at the view. And I'm starting to add the darker tones in um, in this painting. And I'm starting with blue just to show where the bigger shadows are going to be. But as you see, I'll mix the blue with uh, some burnt sienna to create these grays. And I'm using this dry brush technique here because the the rock that he's standing on is actually really beautiful granite. It's like one of those uh, rocks that you can spend a lot of time looking at and looking at, at all the patterns on it. And it's got so many different colors. The rocks, the base color of the rock ranges all the way from like beautiful pink to a soothing blue. And it's really hard to capture all of them. So using dry brush techniques and mixing different colors really helps you get that complexity of the rock. And especially if you're like me and have spent a lot of time staring at rocks. Um, it's definitely something I like to include in my picture is the appreciation. So I'm putting in um, some some paint on the hiker. Sort of you can almost start seeing as soon as I put the shadow in, it just pops out. And this shadow, oh, I really wanted it to be the highlight um, of the not not the highlight per se in in, in painting lingo, but uh, the first thing that captures your attention because that's what dictates the direction of the sun and the time of the day and potentially what, how tired we might be feeling because the sun is not all the way up. It's not even, it, I think this photograph was taken sometime around 9 a.m. So, and we'd already been walking for three hours. Um, 
so it just helps me appreciate that we have our, the time of the day and how high on the mountain we are. So we have made all this progress since the morning and there is still a lot more hiking to be done. So again, more dry brush, really um, trying to use that to create the texture on the granite. And um, I'm also trying to build in the shadows and sort of um, seeing how the shadows create features on the rock. It shows because initially when I put the first wash in, it was essentially a blank canvas. It had no perspective. It had no, um, you didn't know how this rock was shaped. And adding these shadows, even though I'm using dry brush and sort of random patterns, there's still a thought to it when I'm trying, trying to build up perspective. So that's the painting. Hey, hope you enjoyed the painting process. I definitely had a lot of fun making this and using the artist paper. Let me know in the comments below more about what kind of videos you want to see, there any new subjects, any different styles. Let me know what you think in the comment below. And do subscribe and like this video and share it with all your friends. See you next time.